Am I the butthole for exposing my parents' lies and damaging their reputation? I, 21M, have a strained relationship with my parents. They are involved in pretty much every social event slash circle in our city be it church, school, clubs etc. For them, whatever people think is the most important thing. For that, they will lie about pretty much any bad thing that could potentially tarnish their standing and have forced my sister, female, 24, and I to behave in certain ways or follow specific rules. Some examples, my sister and I were not allowed to play with certain kids in our school or neighborhood because their parents were in trade rather than academics. My parents forced me to stop talking to a really close friend in middle school because his parents got divorced. When I got caught smoking in high school, my parents made up a distant uncle with drug problems and told everyone he influenced me. My sister came home one day introducing her Spanish boyfriend to my parents. They didn't like that, so they told everyone the boyfriend is an exchange student that we are housing. My mother once made up a bunch of stuff about a neighboring couple, stuff like her husband is cheating she does porn to pay the bills. Of course, she always claims to have heard it from someone else, who heard it from someone else etc. I could list plenty more but text limit. Now recently I was near my hometown visiting a friend and I ran into the leader of a church group I was part of. I was pretty engaged in that group, so we sat down for a coffee and talked about the good old times. He asked me about my studies and how my fiancé is doing. I was confused and told him I'm not studying and don't have a fiancé. Turns out my parents made up a bunch of lies to cover the fact that I decided to go for an apprenticeship and turned out to be gay. One thing led to another and together we went over a lot of incidences and stories from the past, with me exposing more and more lies. The results could be seen a few days later, my parents called me very angrily asking me how could I do this to them you ruined our lives we can never talk to the neighbors again. I told them their entire reputation is built on lies and spreading rumors, that it is disgusting they even call themselves Christians at this point and that I'm done being part of their little scheme. My sister later called me after mom called her in tears. She is torn, on one side she gets me, as already gone minimal contact with my parents, on the other hand it solved nothing but hurt my parents. Sounds like you didn't even know that you were exposing them until it was too late. Someone asks a question about your life, and you answer. It's your fault your parents didn't tell you want to say. Slash J, not the butthole. Original poster replies. Don't know if it changes your voting, but I was very much aware that the group leader would spill the beans. This is a small town and gossip is its lifeblood. I knew he would not keep it to himself and that it would spread. Still doesn't mean your parents should lie to save their reputation. Your parents dug this hole for themselves. Now they're just being outed as racist homophobes, and they don't like it. If you have to lie to have a good reputation, you don't have one. They deserve it. Not only that but imagine the lives they, the parents, have already ruined. I'd be grateful to finally be vindicated over their bullcrap. They ruined original poster's friendship because the other kid's parents were divorced. Who knows how hurt that other kid was by their actions. Not to mention the poor neighbors. I bet money that on top of spreading rumors about them, which can do harm, they probably didn't treat those neighbors the best. Imagine having your parents split up and on top of that losing your friend? That's got to be hard to get through. Even more of a sting to lose a friend because the friend's horrible parents forced it. Man I can't stand pseudo-religious Oz. Yeah. Original poster, you say it served no purpose outside of hurting your parents, but that's not true. Exposing their lies was a service to the community, especially when at least some of their falsehoods are potentially defamatory and will negatively affect the people they're about, see, the cheating slash making porn neighbors. They're just reaping what they've sown. Right and if they were true Christians they would understand sowing and reaping. They should be more concerned with what God knows about them than what people think about them. I found a really neat trick to avoiding being outed as a racist, classist homophobe is to not be a racist, classist homophobe. So easy, even babies can do it. Can confirm. This trick is a valid one. Confirmed here as well. Works 100% of the time. But you didn't know what the right answer was meant to be. You had no idea what stories your parents had made up. 
Imagine if they'd been saying your fiancé's name was Emily, and then you told the group leader oh. Yeah. Ronaldo and I broke up. How much worse the gossip the group leader would have brought back in that case. There was literally no way for you to continue your parents' lie, even if you had been inclined to do so. Doesn't change my vote. Not the butthole. Were you expecting to make up a fiancé on the spot and lie about your studies? Such obviously disprovable lies, does no one in your town have social media? What about speaking to your parents and play dumb, apologize for the damage but how was I to know you had told everyone I was engaged? You've done them a favor, it's their opportunity to turn over a new leaf. When I was reading I was thinking this guy knows what he's doing and knowing it was true only makes me think highly of you so not the butthole, they shouldn't even be lying in the first place. In my country there's a saying that translated is the lie has a short leg which means they would only get so far until someone find out about it. Yeah, this saying fits here pretty well. Honestly, pretending you are not gay and demeaning your career choices is a horrible thing to do for their child. It shows very much how little they respect you, so I don't see a problem if you don't want to keep up with the lies, especially with lies regarding yourself. This aspect of the parents' BS is really harmful and original poster really plays it down. He says that he's out of all that mess and that spilling the beans only hurt his parents, but their lies about him not being gay hurts other people in their community. We know that knowing a gay person tends to temper homophobia and discrimination toward gay people. And knowing that there are other gay people in one's own community makes the journey of self-acceptance better for young people who are struggling with this is issue. At least they would know that there is a possibility of a future where they can be themselves. Original poster being out in the church community might also mean that some other parents would be more accepting of their own gay kids. Actually, what you did solved quite a bit. In the event you haven't already figured it out, all you've been to your parents is a prop. They clearly don't have any real affection for you, so why does continuing to be a prop matter? They deserve the shame they're feeling, but the worst part of that is that they'll never understand why. Not the butthole. Doesn't matter. They created this tower of lies on a bed of sand, it was always going to come crashing down at some stage, just a case of when, not if. I imagine their neighbors and friends are feeling very hurt and angry, they're probably questioning everything your folks have ever said. And to deny your sexual preference like that. Nah. They're reaping what they've sown. Not the butthole to you. Go live your happy life. If it's a small town that thrives on gossip, there's a high chance that a lot of their lies have already been exposed in the past, just not in a way that would get back to them. People who chronically lie to make themselves look good generally end up being treated like a joke. Not the butthole, come on, admit it. Distant uncle not only taught you to smoke, but he was also the head of the local group promoting the gay agenda probably promoted vaccination against COVID as well. Original poster replies. You're right, it started with smoking, but my real goal was to implement mandatory brunch and transform every Starbucks latte into a rainbow latte. Had my parents not foiled my plan, 90% of the population would be gay now. I mean, if the gay agenda is brunch and colorful drinks, sign me up. Yeah I'm a bit upset it hasn't been allowed to take root yet. I want brunch every day dang it. I have a job that starts at 12, and I'm a night owl, so having brunch every day is part of my gay agenda. Username checks out. I've always been ambivalent about a candidate's sexual orientation in office. Mainly because it holds absolutely no sway in whether someone does or does not do their job, and what two consenting adults do is truly none of my business and affects me 0%. That being said, if voting for you means I get more brunches. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Also, not the butthole. Your parents should learn a valuable lesson here, don't make lies you have to rely on others to keep. Well, time to start sucking dicks I guess. A small price to pay for brunch. Laughing out loud. Not the butthole consequences of their own actions, really. That's the best way to put it. You reap the seeds you sow. Oh what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Not the butthole. Not the butthole. That pile of lies was just waiting to fall apart. 
You can only invent a certain amount of bullcrap before you get caught when someone goes what? No. They only have themselves to blame for building their castle on sand. That's why the best lies have as much truth as possible in them, so there's fewer made-up details to keep straight. Making up one lie usually involves making another to back that up and so forth until the lies all collapse on each other. Yeah, how the heck did they think she would be able, or want, to keep up this deception if no one told her what her fantastic new life was? As someone from a small town it's just absurd that they thought this wouldn't happen. Everyone talks, especially if someone comes home for a visit, they will want to know about everything. Not the butthole. I was slightly leaning toward one judgment till I read the whole thing. No, you're definitely not the butthole here. You didn't do it out of anger or spite. You were confronted with something about yourself that wasn't true, so it was time to finally expose the lies. It would be fine if he did out of anger too. They lied, he suffered for it. He has every right. Not the butthole. Yeah I'm with you, I have no idea why doing it out of anger would be any different. They're literally being homophobic, racist, and classist. What, anyone like that gets a pass if a victim of their mentality steps forward out of anger? It might not solve anything and just hurt your parents, but your parents are not nice people at all, who hurts others for their own gain. Their lies will always come back to bite them, and that they are surprised by that is so weird. What do they think will happen if someone else gossips about something first, or says something contradictory? Do they just lie and say that's what they heard? Not the butthole. Original poster replies. It's not just my parents alone. Their friends also participate in the gossip. So any contradictions or so are usually swept under the rug by more lies or simply well it was just something I heard. And if the target acts against the lies, they are ostracized. So more bad people protecting other bad people even though they know it's lies? Sounds like high school where a group goes around saying the most outrageous lies and impossibilities to seem special. While the rest of the group backs them, even though everyone else knows it's a lie, but if not then your lies are revealed. Screw these people, sounds like absolute misery not being able to talk to people and live your life without someone not just gossiping, but lying, about you. These people should be knocked down a peg or two. Given that, I would say that you exposing them does solve something, or at least contribute some good. It shows them to others as the pathological liars that they are. As a result, it reduces the chances of others being harmed by those lies, or of being ostracized or otherwise mistreated because they stand up against those lies themselves. Narcissists Not the butthole because your parents made their bed by lying to their neighbors. You mentioned that you knew this would happen when you spoke to the church leader, so I have to ask what did you hope to accomplish? Original poster replies. Honestly, a bit of revenge I suppose. Original poster replies. My parents always dictated how we had to behave, what activities we were allowed to do, who to talk to and hang out. At the same time, dragging us to church so that we learn how to be good Christians. So I figured, I'm out of the house so is my sister. I'm no longer under their control and can say whatever I want to whoever I want. I understand, sounds like we had almost the exact same childhood. My grandfather is a bishop so it was the same deal for me growing up. It feels good to be free so more power to you. I don't think you're in butthole even if it was out of pure revenge. 1. They brought this on themselves. Eventually everything comes to light. You just sped things up. 2. Your parents are hurt, what about you? They tried to deny you being gay that trumps anything you could ever do when it comes to hurting other people. If my kid was gay, that would be the least of my problems. You deserve better parents. Not the butthole. You know what they say about karma, winking face. On the other hand it solved nothing but hurt my parents. You're wrong about this. All those slanderous lies your parents spread have now been exposed. You weren't your parents only victims. Now everyone knows your parents can't be trusted and you've saved whoever else they were going to target. You're not the butthole. Not the butthole. Exposing compulsive liars who have hurt not just their children, but God only knows how many others is not something to condemn. 
It is akin to watch as an arsonist sets fire to a building, only to get trapped inside and burned because of his own actions. Your parents like to set fires, well, now they got caught in one of their own making. Not the butthole. Your sister is very wrong though, it wasn't just to hurt your parents. They've been peddling serious lies about your life and everyone took them at their word. Their lies were affecting you and you couldn't even be there rebuke them. Let them stew in their misery. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.